When deciding to make a financial purchase or not, the most common filter we use is, can I afford it? Is there enough money in the bank or room on the credit card to cover the purchase? And if so, we buy it. The houses we live in, the car we drive, the vacations we take, the technology we upgrade, the clothes we wear, the label on our handbag, and everything in between. Most of us simply ask, can I afford it? I've seen this thinking in my own life countless of times, and no doubt you have experienced the thinking in yours as well. Oftentimes, I think this thinking is coupled with a I deserve it mentality, as in, I work really hard for my money and my income, so I can spend this much on that purchase. I deserve it, and I can afford it. But here's the problem. Can I afford it is actually a terrible filter for making financial decisions. Well, let me rephrase that. Can I afford it is a terrible filter if it's the only filter we use in making decisions about what to buy and how to spend our money. It's not wrong in and of itself, it's just incomplete. Unfortunately for many people, it's the only filter they use. If the money's in the bank, I can buy whatever I desire. Why not? I can afford it. But consider some of the reasons why this is a terrible filter. Number one, financial circumstances change all the time. We've learned a lot about the world and ourselves over the last 12 months. And one lesson I hope we've all noticed is that financial circumstances can change in a heartbeat, almost without warning. If my decision to buy a house at the very top of my price range or take out a new auto loan was based solely on can I afford it, you might be surprised how quickly that can change. Number two, it is entirely subjective. In fact, if you read financial experts, you'll immediately find different advice on how much we can afford. Some say spend 28% of your income on housing, and the others say the 28% rule is outdated. Some say never buy a home without 10% down payment. Others say buy a home as quickly as you can, even if you don't have a down payment. Some say when you're buying a car, make sure that you put down at least 20% of the total cost and finance the car for no more than four years. And others say when you're buying a car, always pay cash and never take out a loan. Each of these contradictory pieces of advice can be found online right now. And that doesn't even begin to account for all the advice given on savings, retirement, debt repayment, college savings, giving, or what order of priority those should be placed in your life. Can I afford it is a terrible filter because the answer is always subjective. Heck, we might even change our own mind from day to day on what we think we can afford. Number three, it doesn't count the full cost of our purchase. The amount listed on the price tag is never the full cost of an item. Everything we purchase needs to be brought home needs to be cleaned and organized and inventoried and cared for and maintained. Everything we buy takes up physical space in our home and mental space in our mind, and many of our purchases result in extra direct expenditures. Do I have enough money right now to afford this item rarely factors in the ongoing cost of keeping or maintaining our purchase. A fourth reason this filter doesn't work is it doesn't factor opportunity cost. There's no such thing as a free lunch and every purchase carries opportunity cost. Spending $100 on X today means I don't have $100 to spend on Y tomorrow. And that's why can I afford it is such a short-sighted filter. I may have the money to buy a bigger house or a nice vacation right now, but once that purchase is completed, the money is no longer available for other things. And it may not take long to realize there are countless other things I could have spent my money on that would have resulted in longer lasting happiness. There are better filters that we can ask ourselves. So what questions can I ask in addition to can I afford it? Let me offer five. Number one, does this purchase support my goals? What are the dreams you have for your life? What goals are most important to you? And does this purchase move you closer to them? 
Number two, what are my motivations for this purchase? Am I spending my money on this for the right reasons? Am I buying this just because everyone else is buying it? Because I'm trying to impress someone? Or are my motivations truly healthy? Number three, what do my trusted friends think about this? There's no need to make financial decisions in a vacuum, especially major ones. Ask a family member or a friend or a mentor for their opinion. Make sure it's someone you trust and you would generally consider wise in these types of matters. Number four, is there something else I would like to spend my money on? When counting the opportunity cost of a purchase, don't compare only apples to apples. The filter doesn't need to be exclusively, should I buy this car or that vacation? We should also factor in opportunities such as getting out of debt, getting ahead financially, or giving to a cause that we believe in. Spending money on a purchase just because I can afford it often makes these greater pursuits harder to achieve. And number five, what would my life look like if I said no? We often find ourselves debating a purchase because we've considered what benefit the purchase will bring into our lives. But rarely do we take the time to honestly evaluate what benefits might arise if we said no. But with every purchase, we sacrifice a small amount of freedom. And so this one simple filter helps us realize exactly what that is that we might be giving up. This list of five questions isn't meant to deter anyone from ever spending money again. It's simply designed to help all of us make better choices because in and of itself, can I afford it, is actually a terrible filter for financial decisions.